everyone, uh, Mr. Tweet here. So um, in the real world, if we want to try to figure out what not what real GDP is, we're going to have to start with nominal GDP, and then we're going to have to use a price index to kind of proportionally adjust that, that nominal GDP to make it real. So the equation that we have to do that is right up here. My real GDP is found by first finding my nominal GDP. Again, that's counting up everything that's produced you know, at the prices that it sells for. And then dividing by our price index value. Could be CPI, could be the GDP deflator, could be a different price index. But we're gonna use a price index to divide into our nominal, multiply times 100, and that will give us our, our real GDP. So up here, I've got 2014, I've got a nominal GDP, I've got a CPI number, we can use that for the deflator, they're interchangeable as far as these equations go. 2015, I've got a nominal GDP, I've got a CPI number, I can use that for the deflator. And the question I have is, I know it's hard to read here, how much did the economy grow from 2014 to 2015? So we're gonna to have to do two things here. The first thing we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to figure out the real GDPs for 2014 and 2015. And then once we have those real GDPs, we're gonna plug them into our growth formula and that's gonna tell us how much the economy actually grew. So let's start over here with 2014. I'm gonna use this equation right up here. I'm gonna use this equation. Um, to get our to get our real GDP. So my nominal is 800. So I'm gonna have 800 Divided by my CPI number which is 200 times 100 and And what we get there is we end up with 4 times 100. So we get 400 million is our answer real GDP is measured in dollars just like nominal GDP is all right so I use this equation here. Now, in the real world, you're finding nominal, you're finding deflator, you're using that to get, to get the real. Um, in the college board world, they could give you the real and they could give you the deflator and then you could solve for X up here or they could give you real and nominal and then you find the index number. Um, but, you know, let's move on. We're gonna find real GDP for 2015. So I've got my nominal GDP, 1,250 divided by my deflator, so prices have gone up, right? We've got some inflation here. So we have 250 goes in here, times 100, right? 250 goes into 1250, it goes in there five times. Five times 100 is 500. So we end up with 500 million as, as our, so we can see the economy has grown. My real GDP has gone up, so that means my economy has grown, we're producing more. Prices have also gone up, but now we've taken that part out of the equation, so now that I have my real GDPs, now I can calculate my growth. And to do that, I'm gonna use my growth formula, new minus old over old times 100, right? So my new is 500 minus 400, divided by 400, new minus old over old times 100. And then I solve for that and it's gonna give me a percentage change, or in this case, the percentage change in real GDP or our economic growth rate. So 500 minus 400 is 100. So I get 100 over 400 times 100. 100 over 400 is 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 100 is 25. So the answer to our question, how much did the economy grow from 2014 to 2015? We can see right here, the economy grew 25%. Now, if I wanted to know how much inflation there was, how much did prices change over that time, I could use this exact same growth formula, but I could just plug in my CPIs. And when I plug in my CPIs, I would do the same thing, new minus old over old times 100. I'd end up with 50 over 200 times 100. 50 over 200, that's um, gonna be the same thing as, um, that's gonna be um, one fourth. So one fourth times 100, we end up with 25% growth.
again. So it turns out prices went up by 25%, production went up by 25%, and that's, you know, that's that. So uh, that's real GDP. Take care.